The rack and pinion mate is used to simulate the linear motion of a rack with a circular motion of a pinion. It's important that you understand that we're talking about simulation, not a true physical interaction between components. If you wish to simulate physical interaction, you must use the physical dynamics option of the Move Component tool. Here on this assembly, if I move the rack or rotate the wheel, or pinion, you can see they're both free to move independent from one another. To add the rack and pinion mate, I'll click on the paperclip icon to begin. When the Mate Property Manager appears, I'll click on the Advanced Mates section to bring up the Advanced Mate Types. Here I have the option to use the rack and pinion mate. When I click on it, the Mate Selection area prompts me to tell SolidWorks which is the rack and which is the pinion. I'll click on a linear edge of the rack and a circular edge of the pinion. Next, I need to specify the value that will drive the relationship between the rack and the pinion. It can be defined by either the pinion pitch diameter or the distance the rack travels per revolution of the pinion. I'll use the pinion pitch diameter option and type in a value of 5. At this point, if I move the rack, you can see that the pinion is actually rotating in the wrong direction. To correct this, I'll click the Reverse checkbox. And when I move the rack again, we get the motion that we're looking for. Keep in mind this is only a simulation based on the pinion pitch diameter value I specified in the Property Manager. Gear teeth are not actually interacting, and may in fact be overlapping. For a true interaction between the teeth, I recommend using the Physical Dynamics option from the Move Component tool.